Good morning. You know those people who have these machines to Thandora Maindi, basically removing the maize from its cob? So he's going to be coming with that machine so that we can do that because it will be so laborious for me or even to hire people to come help me beat the maize with a stick until it comes off. So the machine has revolutionized things. It's much quicker to remove the maize that way from the cob. And then from there, I'll take some to the posho mill and get it grinded into small pieces so that my chicken can eat them. We call that njenga here because they don't seem to be liking the full maize seed. They like it into pieces. <laughs> Decided to come in and check on the new mom. Looks like she's doing well. Convinced that I'll need to put a grill on this kitchen balcony. Because, for instance, today I just did laundry. <clears throat> there was a lot of poop here from yesterday. I cleaned it up and I'm like, I can't be doing this more than twice a week. Especially since I have to bend. I have that tall broom that you can use the brush on, but it doesn't reach the corner as well. So I had to use the small broom that you have to bend a lot. And you can already see they started pooping. And I had washed even this section, but it's okay if they poop there. But you see these stains, those are from their poops. So what I did so that this section could dry, so you see there's a section that's not dry yet. So what I decided to do is actually place items all across here, although there's that gap where I need to place something because they'll find that small space and try to sit there. And every time they sit anywhere, they poop. And I don't want them to poop on my veranda anymore. So I'll have to honestly put a grill here, not a big grill, just a small one, just to discourage them from entering this place. It's a beautiful afternoon. I did some laundry in the morning. It was a bit cold in the morning, but now the sun is out. It looks nice. So I'm going to go ahead and continue harvesting the maize. However, the person that had promised to come with the machine to help me remove the maize, he had said he'll come at around 11. Sahi, it's almost 2 p.m. It's 1.40 something and i've called him and he's not picking up the call i called him again not picking up texted him so my guess is that he's not going to show up today so i'll just continue harvesting and then hopefully he can show up you know when he's ready now she thinks she's hidden she can hear my first look at her going to her mommy's Oh boy, looks like one just hatched right now. I'm just checking, Mama. I realized that both the chicken and the geese like these weeds. You see these ones with these white flowers. I don't know the name of these weeds, so I'm gonna pluck a bunch of them since they are mini over here and take them to the geese and the chicken. See, they don't like the maize like I told you. They only eat a few and then leave the rest on the ground and then the geese in the evening come and eat them. The geese didn't like the leaves as much as I thought because see, a bunch is still left over here. 
I was watching someone who deals with herbal medicine and they were saying that this weed um, it's called Shonge in Kikuyu I don't know what's the name of it in English they were saying that this weed is medicinal I don't know if it's the leaves or the roots but it can be quite problematic especially when it stings you and it's my it's in my kitchen garden so I'm gonna uproot it this is kumbe the flower turns into a fruit this is the squash that I planted this one is still here I don't know when to harvest it because I don't because usually the squashes that I find in the market they usually much larger than this one so I'm thinking I should just give it time to see if it's gonna enlarge guys is there anything like being allergic to harvesting maize I don't know if you can see but I have these tiny rashes that are only occurring on my arms you know where these leaves I think are able to touch my arms and also on my feet when I haven't worn socks but where I have some rushes and they're so tiny and they're not like that itchy or anything but you know it's unusual I'm like hey where did I get rushes from and like right now I've been harvesting a bunch and I'm feeling itchy on my arms and I'm like and I've been okay I've not been ignoring it I've been putting salt and what else salt and ash for the past since I started harvesting for like the past two or three days and the rush isn't seeming to go and I'm thinking it's because I'm still harvesting and I just thought when is there something like being allergic to the maize leaves because I'm thinking is it maize leaves I mean, it's these other weeds that I'm encountering in the farm but some of them are short me I have a feeling it has something to do with the maize The chicken apparently finished the leaves, which is good. I also threw some under there, basically keeping them far apart, the chicken and the geese when it comes to feeding, because the geese are bullies. I am done for the day but before I wrap up I want to check if we have a new chick so just the two from earlier sorry for disturbing you I don't know if the chick is hungry trying to get some food yet there's some over here so I'm gonna turn it around to face the food <laughs> <laughs> 